Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Edward. Plus, I don't lose on quarantine, so like I wouldn't even get riled up about this one. I wouldn't even sweat it. We're starting with Dr. Fetus. Secret room? Oh, come on. Come on, you're gonna do me like that? You're not gonna give me a secret room early? MJ93EAYQ. <clears throat> I have no idea how to interpret our stats, but what I do know is... Ha ha ha, bomb go brrr. So... I think for the time being, I would not expect disaster or despair in an Isaac-related context. That's very helpful as well. Uh, I hope you guys are, as always, doing well, staying safe in, uh, in unusual times, staying sane during your periods of isolation or quarantine. For God's sake, not going outside to the beach. Um, Please? <laughs> My city went miniature viral this weekend. It went Canada viral, which is not nearly as large as America viral. Um, but still, it was embarrassing, you know? They were like, check it out. This is what Vancouver beaches look like now. And there were, you know, at least hundreds, maybe low thousands of people there. And I was like, ah. Really? I like I get it cuz the weather's nice, but at the same time, oh my god. There's going to be other springs. Just just hold it together for a little bit, please. <laughs> I almost wonder if people don't. I don't I, the whole episode's not going to be about this, I promise. We got other news, but I almost wonder if people don't treat themselves like, you know, I've been good. I've stayed inside for a few days. I go outside and never hurt anybody. It's what I need right now. Anyway, uh, I'm sure people have been waiting on, on this episode for a while, and you don't even know why yet, but you will when I tell you. In case you somehow missed the news, you don't follow me on Twitter, didn't hear about it on Twitch, other videos. Indeed, Kate is pregnant. We announced uh, the day this video is recorded, which is Monday, March the 23rd, 2020. Uh, very exciting, we've been sitting on the news for... Two months, we've known since the end of January. It's it's a hard secret to keep for a couple reasons. The big one, honestly, is that, you know, we're in the middle of a... You know, kind of like a global public health crisis. And yet, I continue to have to leave the home um, for doctor's appointments and picking up stuff from the pharmacy and etc, etc. And people have... Uh, I wouldn't say they've accused me of being irresponsible, but there have been murmurs. They're like, why are you going out once every two days? You know, it's a quarantine situation. I'm like, yeah, I know. But my wife's prescription of anti-nausea medication has run out. I, I'm faced with limited options here. Um, so, I mean, honestly, one reason is to share the news, obviously, because we're super stoked and we're, we're happy to be able to share the news finally. But I'll admit, another part of it was like, now I have... An excuse. <laughs> like, I was a little late to Checkpoint League week one. That's because we had, the, you know, our doctor the day before Checkpoint League when I told uh, Apollo like three months ago. That time works for me. The day before Checkpoint League, our doctor was like, hey, you should go get this test done. And we were like, can it wait till next Tuesday? And she's like, you should get this test done today or tomorrow, I should say. So, um, you know, I've been late for a couple Tuesday streams, and people have been like, wow, he's he's been late a lot more than usual. He's He's been uncharacteristically uh, loose with his time deadlines and stuff like that. Yeah, it's because we had stuff on the go. <laughs> We've had some stuff on the go. But I also think there's a case to be made for, uh, you know, you might be like, oh, hold on, Yera, Degas, Algiz. Let's use a Yera early to double up on Degas. If we have an arcade, these algae's will come in super handy. Um, it's very good regardless. Very good regardless. But you know, people... Uh, it's, it's huge news. You know, it's, uh, the, it's the kind of news that can change your life forever, obviously. Um, I think this probably... And it's hard to tell even within myself. But I think it explains a lot of the energy that we've been working with here on the channel in 2020, right? Like, the, the burst of energy definitely started after we moved, and I was like, ah, now that we're moved in, holy crap, I gotta pay the mortgage. <laughs> so, I had like a burst of productivity out of necessity there. 
Um, and then secondarily, you know, soon after that, when we, you know, made the decision to, to extend our family and, you know, came to fruition pretty quickly, uh, you know, it was another burst of, like, like, two different things. You know, one is, like, holy crap, like, I'm gonna be responsible for another human life. So, like, let's let's get our affairs in order. Not in the way, like, we're gonna die soon. <laughs> but, like, let's let's get everything into the best position it could possibly be into as early as possible. Um, and then secondly, just, like, a burst of, of motivation and, and energy and... You know, like, a, a, I don't want to call it a higher purpose because that carries different connotations, I guess. But, like, more motivation than ever before, for sure, to, to work hard. Especially right now, like, while I have time. It's, I guess another part of it is the realization that, you know, pretty soon both time and sleep are going to be at a premium. Um, so, so taking that opportunity to, to get in front of it as soon as possible. So that, I, I think that does a pretty good job of explaining, like, you know, where I'm at in 2020 and how we got here. And I'm very thankful. I think it, it's, you know, A, it's exciting news for us, like, on a, on a human life level. But then, you know, B, on top of that, I think... Uh, you know, it was the kind of shakeup that I needed to keep things fresh in my life as well. You know, even in advance of the birth. So, um, the due date is early October. So we got a we got a ways to go. We got like a little bit over six months here. Expected. Um, Kate is like twelve weeks in a couple of days right now. So just starting to get out of the first trimester. I didn't know basically anything about pregnancy in advance of this. I assumed that the worst part of pregnancy was close to the end because you're, uh, you know, obviously the baby is bigger. Um, I thought that would be a more uncomfortable. Apparently the worst part of pregnancy for most women is the, the first trimester because of morning sickness. I gotta tell you, it's been a very interesting, like I, I'm not sweating, it's not like our life has been hard or anything like that, but you know, when we planned this, uh, this was before the coronavirus stuff really started to take off. Um, so now that it's taken off, you know, I still, I have like pregnant, I mean, d let me get this straight right off the bat. Kate's doing the hard work, you know? She's dealing with the, the discomfort and the nausea and the et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm just kind of like, uh, I'm an assistant. <laughs> I'm an administrative assistant right now that's like, can I get you something? That's pretty much my job. Did you take your vitamins today? Um, but yeah, so you know, we've been really cutting back on going outside recently, but before the virus hit like a super critical mass shut everything down, you know, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera, and it was just kind of bubbling there, but maybe slightly under the surface. I think we can take this for a second here. Um, you know, I was I was going out like once every couple of days going out to the you know Korean supermarkets and being like hey do you have like uh, instant jajangmyeon and they're like yeah we got it it's right here and I'm like nah like I know that's the jajangmyeon you have but do you have this one my wife sent me a photo and <laughs> she specifically wants this one right now people looking at me like sir you know uh What's happening on planet Earth right now, right? You're aware of that? <laughs> I am, but you're not aware of what's happening at home for me right now. So So I'm going to I'm going to stick with the coupon. I think for deals with the devil this could be useful, obviously. So yeah, that's that's what's been going on uh, recently. Definitely been been an interesting time. I mean, it's not like it hasn't been really hard for me at all, to be honest. I'm not trying to rub it in, but you know, it's my job's pretty much the same as it ever was. Except, you know, my wife's sense of smell is better, so sometimes she's like, please don't get so close to me, I don't like the smell of your shirt. And I'm like, my shirt doesn't smell. And she's like, it smells like detergent. And I'm like, that's what it's supposed to smell like. <laughs> but, uh, again, not her fault. Apart from that, you know, I mean, I, I don't, it's weird, because people are, and it's amazing, don't get me wrong, like, Literally, and I'm so privileged to be in this position, literally thousands of people are tweeting us and, you know, DMing us and leaving comments on every platform. They're like, congratulations, like, we're so happy. I I'm happy that you're happy, and I'm happy that I'm happy. 
But on top of that, it's also, it's just kind of bizarre because we've been sitting on it for two months. <laughs> so I've been like, uh, I'm like, yeah, get over it. We Come on, that's old news. What's your turnip price like in Animal Crossing today? So it's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. These 2020 babies, man, they're gonna have a very, uh, I don't know if they're if they're gonna have appreciated or not appreciated, but all at least parents that are expecting in 2020 are all gonna have some very they're gonna have some street cred for the rest of their lives, you know. Ah, uh, when your mom was pregnant with you, did you know that the planet Earth was going through a once per generation pandemic, the likes of which hadn't been seen in a hundred years? Yeah, Dad, we know. Tell the story about how everybody thought the world as we know it would change forever. Why does the child have a deeper voice than the father? I don't know. That's the questions, you know, that's more of a Neil deGrasse Tyson question. I don't have all the answers here. Suffice it to say, we're, we're very excited. And if I didn't hit you with a heart or a, uh, a thank you for your well wishes, it's, it's just like... I'm really not trying to say like, oh, we're so popular that, you know, we couldn't get to them all. But really, it was like there was too many replies to reply to. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> it was it was a lot. And we're not having the baby for the gratification of, you know, the fans. It was the next step for our family for sure. And I think particularly once we moved into this place and, you know, we had a little bit more space. We were like, this is something that we could do now without it being like i don't want to say irresponsible because i don't think that's true but like we wouldn't have to put the baby crib in like the bathroom <laughs> or in my like broom closet office uh, okay baby is no naps anymore dad's gotta record isaac what do you think's paying for the pampers of course i'll take this but yeah i mean expect the uh, Pregnancy anecdotes within reason, baby anecdotes within reason. Um, it's, an, it's an exciting time, for sure. And definitely, like, if if this doesn't explain to you why I was... Uh, I don't want to say paranoid now, but why I was cautious about the virus stuff in advance of, without tooting my own horn, in advance of most people being particularly cautious about it. Um, this this should explain it because you know it was literally like you know we found out in the third week of January that um, Kate was pregnant and then in like the first week of February they were like oh this thing's starting to this isn't just an, an other parts of the world sort of thing there's like a little you know th there might be some legs on this virus so that's why I've been particular I mean another part of it is that I have that I don't, again, I'm not tooting my own horn too much here, but, you know, I have enough of an awareness of epidemiology just from getting my biology degree. Now, again, not an expert and not an epidemiologist, but enough to be like, ooh, I know how these spread. <laughs> it's like word of mouth, but instead it's like worms of mouth, you know? Um, so, you know, you see 10,000 cases and you're like, it's not so bad until you're like, oh, wait a minute. Five weeks from now, that could be like, you know. 500,000 but uh, so part of it was that the other part of it was like please you know wash your hands because you know we got we got a delicate situation over here yo I will take and I will we probably should use coupon more regularly like I, I why didn't I use it at the last shop that's a great question didn't really do too much for us here but as long as we got it ready for the boss fight it's not too big of a deal all right, moving on. So yeah, um, anytime I've been unable to come up with anecdotes in Isaac, it's really because most of my anecdotes <laughs> revolved around something that we were uh, not going to announce until it was, you know, prudent to announce. So I'd like to apologize for uh, a couple of months of videos that were only massively entertaining. They weren't generation-defining like the average Isaac episode is. And I apologize for that. It won't happen again. <laughs> if, if anything, you know, give me a couple of... Well, give me half a year here. We'll kick it into overdrive, baby. 
These anecdotes are about to get realer than they've ever been. Regardless. Let's talk a little Isaac. Let's talk a little Isaac. I'm happy. Isaac, you know, I, I don't even have to mention it. We're not going to lose. Not only at this point, you know, do we not lose on quarantine, but I got dad energy coursing through my veins. I got rocket fuel in my lungs. And uh, nobody's going to break my stride. Nobody's going to slow me down. The loss does not exist here. The, the beauty, the potentiality and the beauty of this is getting some more bomb synergies, which will not happen from this deal with the devil, but we are closing in on a potential guppy. Uh, I mean, we have one guppy item. Just work with me here. Okay, thank you. Lots of... I mean, we got pacifier and pajamas. I'm just throwing it out there. You're telling me the game's not listening? <laughs> I don't buy it. So I actually think this does nothing for us. So I, I hate to do it because it's a great item, but, you know, let's use our common sense and not even pick it up. Um... And I also, like, I, there's not much reason to get Little Brim because we're never going to use it, but it might be transformational. It might be part of a transformation. It's just, it's, it's very hard for us to charge up Little Brim, so... I would consider that not the best item so far. That's okay. We're going to get there. I mean, the, ever since I saw we had HP and Dr. Fetus, there was no way for us not to get there. Closing in on some HP as well. From Puberty. Um, y'all? <laughs> stonks. Uh, not really. Not really stonks. Okay, this is what I was looking for. A room of some import. And I'm not talking about Pier 1. I don't know how to feel about that. A one-ninth reduction in tier delay. If that doesn't get your juices flowing, you're not even a red-blooded human being. Sweetest words in the English language. A one-ninth reduction in tier delay. Oh, baby. ISO 9001 certified Isaac compliant. Internationally recognized as a UNESCO heritage site. If you're not watching it on my channel, it's not champagne. It's just sparkling Isaac. I've been waiting for a while to use that one. Very slow, though. Very slow run. Where did we get a speed down? Okay, well, you know. You, you can't fix stupid. <laughs> I think it's that a, It's one of the Redneck Comedian albums, isn't it? It's the one that people like. Am I correct in this assumption? I don't mean to be rude, necessarily. It's Ron White, right? Hold on, let me grab this. Oh, baby, that's what we're looking for. Stonks? And stonks? Not, not stonks. We didn't get two stonks, but that's okay. I will buy spider mod. I think it helps. Who is it? You got, you got Jeff Foxworthy, the blue-collar comedians. Jeff Foxworthy. Excuse me. Uh, Larry the Cable Guy. A.K.A. Um, Demetrius Hornfellow the Eighth, Esquire, Rhodes Scholar, Bill Ingvall, and Ron White. I thought Ron White was the one that you didn't have to be part of the blue collar comedy tour to enjoy. Who would not recommend? Okay, it was worth <laughs> it was worth taking a try. Look, I'll tell you, I'm not in a position to be bad-mouthing any stand-up comedian. There are, you know, there's comedians I like, comedians I don't like, but I am not really abreast of the current comedy market. I like Mike Birbiglia. I like Tom Segura. I like uh, John Mulaney. Honestly, I, I, I watched Michelle Wolf's special in December. I thought it was very good. I've never heard any of her stuff before. I thought it was quite good. I never watched her Netflix uh, pseudo late night show. I'm here to tell you. I don't know if this is just uh, if this is millennial speak. Sorry, I got an eyelash in my eye. I don't know if this is Zoomer speak. I'm pretty much full on late night shows. I don't. I don't think if you're a comedian, your career necessarily has to pass through late night anymore to be successful. Um, 
There's already too many, in my opinion. I love Conan, but even like, I don't watch Conan. I watch the remotes, you know? I, I watch when Conan gets out of the office and does some other stuff, and I think those are like 10 out of 10. I love them. But like, when he's like, you know, today, Drew Barrymore, I'm like, as. Ah, I'm not here for you, Drew. I'm here for I'm here for Conan goes to uh, Vietnam, you know. So that's you no know, matter. Even if my favorite comedian got a late night show, the odds of me watching it are essentially zero. And I'm being 100% sincere. I'm just I'm just over the and especially like. Uh no 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 <laughs> no 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 no, especially um. Like the Daily Show style, don't get me wrong, I, I grew up, I had formative years during like, you know, the Bush administration when when Jon Stewart and Stephen Colbert were, were crushing it on the Daily Show. Um, even before the Colbert Report, you know, was, was but a twinkle in Comedy Central's eye. Um, but I think I've just, it's kind of just a been there, done that situation. It's the same reason I don't watch like last night with John Oliver, I'm just kind of... I know. I know the formula. I'm, I've seen the playbook. I'm just kind of not that interested anymore, to be honest. I'd rather just just more... I get it, by the way. Trust me. As somebody who does not make uh, stand-up comedy, I think being a stand-up comedian is super tough. The actual duties of the job, like getting in front of an audience and public speaking, whatever. You get used to it, right? I'm assuming. Um, I wouldn't know. I'm not a public figure. Uh, but, like, writing material that's actually good and then having pressure, you know, to do it maybe once a year, once every 18 months maybe, that's a lot. And then you're on tour, you know? I'm sure the touring is is worse than the actual act of standing up and telling your jokes and getting a lot of praise for them. But, so, I understand why you would be stoked to be like, Hey, I could have a team of writers writing jokes for me, and all I gotta do is kind of be like the talking head, and, you know, I'm part of creating something that's a little bit easier to make, because that's pretty much like what I do with my stream. Is I'm not really like making a product, I'm more just like going live and shooting the breeze. Pentagram. Of course I'll take. But, uh, you know, the, the late night stuff is not for me anymore. And it's not to besmirch your, your James Cordons and your Jimmy Fallons and your so ons and so forth. I don't, I don't like any of the Jimmys, particularly. I'm not trying to. I know that that's a, an extremely popular opinion. I'm not trying to get street cred for it. By the way, when did I get Dark Bum? <laughs> I've, I've been lost in the sauce on this run. I got other stuff on my mind. For me, it's like, I know the opinion. You have to say, well, Craig Ferguson, before he retired, was the best. Yeah, I liked Craig Ferguson as well. But I've always been a Conan guy, personally. Letterman was way up there. Currently, not really interested, to be honest. Plus, like... It's even worse, like, it's not it's not fair right now, because nobody's, you know, recording the shows. But there's nothing worse than, like, turning on an episode of Late Night, because nothing else is on. And then realizing, um, it's an episode from, like, last July. And you're like, okay, now not only is it a celebrity, like, I don't care about, but the monologue is going to be completely outdated. And the movie that the celebrity is promoting doesn't even like it's it's already come out on blu-ray but then they're like musical guest Sturgill simpson and you're like oh snap <laughs> it's a slapper okay i'll watch i'll fall asleep while i'm watching that's not true we don't have a tv in our bedroom instead i'm just playing animal crossing until like 12 45 a.m and then rolling over and putting in my bluetooth headphones going to sleep black bean huh Right now, I'll tell you, I mean, the run is not in danger in the least. But I really do feel like we've gotten, um... We, we started in an amazing spot. The run has not gotten much better. <laughs> I mean, it, it's gotten both better and worse. It's certainly in a better position now than it was when we started. However, the vast majority of the value on this right now is definitely driven... 
by the items we had begun the run with. That was just bad. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have been there. And the whiz is just spicy. I'm starting to believe, you know, in, in Sinvicta's methodology. He no longer takes question mark items, and I, I understand completely. You might be saying, but like, do you really want to live your life like that? You, you don't want to... You want to be scared of items forever? Well, like, I don't think it... Let me, let me defend Invictus slightly there. I don't think it matters too much to the entertainment value to pick up a red question mark. I think the entertainment value is driven by the words coming out of your mouth, for the most part. If one red question mark makes the difference between watching and not watching, then I've misjudged the situation greatly and I apologize for that. But I, I definitely do not believe that that's the case. For me or for him. Yo, stonks. Thank you. Uh, stick with the trinket. I mean, I don't know why we would want more bombs, but... I don't even know what the moon card does. I'm waiting on that. I did a channel update where I announced some subscriber milestones. One of the milestones is I get 850,000 subscribers. And I know what you're going to say. You're going to say it's a lot of work. Yes, it is. I'm, I'm in. I'm, I'm in to do it. I'm being 100% sincere. Um... I know it's going to be a six or eight hour like video, probably. Um, but rating every item in Isaac, one of the reasons I want to do that is maybe if I do the trinkets, which we'll, we'll judge that on a case by case basis. But if I want to do the trinkets, we can uh, we can actually learn what half of them do. That'll be exciting. You know what's interesting, and this is uh, the opposite of complaining, but. It might sound like complaining. I've been trying to, like, I look at my analytics. My analytics are like, you know, 83% of people that watch my channel are subscribed. 17% are not subscribed. And I try to put myself in the shoes of people who like watching all of my videos, um, but choose not to subscribe. Because obviously, I'd like to see that number go higher. It's not just an ego thing, you know, like, it, it helps me market myself to, to sponsors and stuff like that. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, if, if you don't like the, subscri the, the experience of being subscribed, I'm not going to like, you know, be like, oh, it's my livelihood. You got to do it, right? Um, but what's interesting is I was trying to put myself in the shoes of people who would be like, yeah, I really like his content. I want to see all the videos, but I don't want to subscribe. And then um, people told me the reason I don't subscribe is because once you subscribe, YouTube starts to use machine learning to show you videos that you want to see and don't want to see. So if you go to my channel when you're subscribed, you might see a slightly different upload page than if you're not subscribed. And I was like, you know what? That's valid. It's very valid. In a weird way, and I think this is how you know uh, you've screwed up your platform a little bit. YouTube, not me. If you want to see all of my content, you actually get a little penalized for subscribing, which is basically dumb. But I understand the Silicon Valley mindset. We know you better than you know you. We've got all this metadata, and all you've got is one little faulty meat computer. So, of course, you know, I would appreciate if you if you subscribe. At the same time, I also I, I understand a little bit more now. And again, you know, Dan and I talk about it on Check the Wire. Literally every week we do Check the Wire. Um... Our businesses do not live or die based on subscriber numbers. They live or die based on other numbers, like viewer numbers for sure. Um, I gotta see at least. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> it's not bad though. We have, it's just like a super orbital. Um, but, you know, my, my whole model, if you want to call it that, that hurt me right there. It's a little, a little spicy in here. Uh, my whole model is basically like, you know, watch me. Oh, no, 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 it's getting spiced. Watch me in the way that is most convenient for you. If that means subscribing, that's great news for me. Helps me hit my own internal quotas that I set on myself. We have KB in Conception, right? That's how we got Dark Bum and also now uh, Succubus. I'll live with that. Um, but if that if that passes through subscribing, great news. If if you're like, well, the best way for me to watch your content is not to be subscribed. So be it, you know? Same thing with like, you know, should I, people ask me like, should I watch your VODs 
on Twitch or should I watch on YouTube? What's better for you? The honest answer is I don't know unless you have YouTube Premium. <laughs> if you have YouTube Premium or YouTube Red, it's definitely better for me if you watch my incredibly long VODs on YouTube. But even that being said, I would never want to be like, please watch them on YouTube. If you prefer the Twitch player or you prefer the fact that on Twitch, you know, the video is ready as soon as the stream's over, whereas on YouTube it might take, uh, you know, two or three days to come to the platform, please continue to do it that way, you know? Sometimes I feel like a, you know, like I, I oh, come on, come on, come on. Sometimes I feel like I, I'm like a restaurant owner. People are like, what's the best way for me to pay? I'm like, well, you know, there are ways to pay that are, I guess, better. Like, you know, if you pay via cash, there's no processing fee from the credit card company. However, the number one thing is good for my business is, you know, that you pay in the way that's most convenient for you. So the next time you, you come to the business, you're not like, oh, I can't go there. I don't have cash. So just, you know, if... If that's the way you uh, like to, uh huh, uh huh, I like it. That's the way. How does it go? That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh, I like it. You do what you gotta do. I su I support it either way, as long as it passes through watching my content at some point. Otherwise, you can get out. I can say that because if you didn't watch my content, you wouldn't be hearing this, right? So. Okay, this run, it got spicier than expected. Dark Bomb is gonna be of the utmost importance. We're still, I, I'm still dumb about holding this Alge's rune. That's like, obvious, right? I will say... We wouldn't be in such a pickle. <laughs> if I hadn't gotten Wiz, but... That's the way the cookie crumbles. It's not necessarily a deal breaker. And we do get the damage of two bombs. You know, it's not it's not just negative. Infested times two, infested. sure. Infested. infested, infested. So that's that's my two cents on that. Of course. I'd like to get those numbers up, tighten up the graphics on level 3, but uh, I also understand the reality of the situation. It was the same reason I was asked, I was like, man, why don't people turn on the bell for my channel? You know, my, my number of people that have clicked the bell for me is like half of what the average is apparently on YouTube. And that's the low end of their average range. And then I asked people, I was like, why don't you click the bell? Because I think it's the best way to get that feedback. And people were like, uh, you put out like... Oh, Left the hearts behind. You put out like six videos a day sometimes, so that's why I don't click the bell. And I was like, yeah, you're right. That makes perfect sense. In actuality, that's that's pretty sensible. Okay, so I'm gonna focus entirely on you. If we can get in the occasional play on this thing, even better. Just wanna stay focused so we know what's coming here. I, I appreciate the damage. That's really not what we need. Like damage is not at the forefront of our necessity, nor is amber the color of our energy. Okay, that's not what we're looking for, but... And I think it even goes through Alges, don't quote me on that one. I'll take anything, dude. I, it doesn't have to be HP, I'll take... I'll take whatever you got here. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely take the HP. Just because it said it didn't have to be HP, I'm still pretty stoked to see it, dude. The bombs, the wizard bombs. The ball with the ball, the dang, the dang, dicky. I don't know the words, but you up jump the boogie, yes. Okay, you know what? If we could skip half of this floor, this would be the only party that's even close to an S Club party. Hey, what if we could just skip, like, every room that was even mildly annoying? How about that? I am... I, I know I said we're not gonna lose. That was back when I had so much HP I didn't even know what to do with it. Things have, have changed. The, the situation has become substantially more dire. Um... 
I'm still confident in a victory, but I really want to see this deal with the devil here to kind of take it home. And and maybe get like I'm trying to think of like Abaddon would be pretty sick. We really just want HP injections right now. Nine lives would be fine, but it's not really like it's not the number one thing we would concern ourselves with. You know, that's just that's kind of like if we find ourselves in a position to be using nine lives, I don't really want to be stuck not being able to get hit even once. And wouldn't you know it, I hold on to the Algis rune for the whole run. Ah, no deal, dude. I hold on to the Algis rune for the whole run. As soon as I drop it, I'm like, <laughs> I'd really like the Algis rune back, please. Do not like this rune. I will be leaving now. Walked into the enemy. Okay, got hit two times, like a fool. Got a little redemption there. Much appreciated. Not being able to shoot a bomb straight is is very bad. That sucks. And then having to watch out for the... The ricochets off the wall also sucks. It, it all sucks. <laughs> Succubus, you're the... Uh, you're the meaning in my life right now. You're the inspiration. HP? 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 HP. Can't afford to be too picky right now. This feels good though. Oh, okay, I was wrong. Does not feel good. We're insanely lucky to have not been hit on the first shot and then honestly pretty fair to get hit on the second shot. Um... Things are getting... Things are getting a little spiced. It's not very cash money right now, okay? Oh my god, the Tinted Rocks! Thank you. Every Tinted Rock extends our lifespan and consumer confidence. High Priestess is very nice. I'm not gonna turn up my nose at any damage dealer. That doesn't involve me having to weather the storm of my own creation here. Uh, sack of Sacks, of course. Why Why would we not be stoked to see Sack of Sacks? It's maybe not the number one pickup we, we would want to see here, but... Uh, expect that to be pretty solid for us regardless. Another Tinted Rock. Very, very lucky. Also very lucky we got... Um, Small Rock earlier. Otherwise, you know, we might get Small Rock, the best item, and be disappointed to see it. Okay, High Priestess immediately. Immediately. And... We got a lot of things to watch out for. <laughs> Some of those are more within control, or within our control than others. <laughs> okay, we got hit. That's fine. I, I can actually completely live with that. Why am I using the orbital instead of the knife? Grade work. Okay, 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 okay. I don't lose on quarantine, baby, so don't worry about it. Not being able to see your HP, that's actually... I've long been of the opinion that that's super cool. I think that's a very cool thing. I actually appreciate Mini Mush quite a lot here. I don't really appreciate Bob's brain. I think that's, uh, that's a little too much. And obviously Coupon didn't really pay the dividends I was looking for. But to be honest, a, a big reason for that is is the bomb item. Like, if we weren't stuck with... And stuck is a relative term because, I mean, it's been pretty solid for us as well. But um, especially early. But if we weren't saddled, maybe is a better way to say it. If we weren't saddled with... Uh, having bombs as our tiers. We would have Mom's Knife, we'd have Little Brim, we'd have, you know, Eye of Belial. We'd have all sorts of stuff that could that could really make a, a pretty big difference. So I don't blame that at Coupon. I don't put it on the mantle of Coupon. I don't think it's your responsibility, Coupon. And moreover, I also don't lose on Quarantine, so I'm not even really sweating it at all. Plus, we're going to get an item here. In the, in the secret room, I mean. 
Uh, Steam sale is going to help out a lot right now. <laughs> Alright, if I had to guess... I mean, this is the furthest possible room away. I bet I've been hit by my own, my own bombs since taking Wiz. Phrasing. More than I've been hit by any enemies. I would, I would bet the farm on that right now. Okay, bombs do not frighten me. Why would you, like, even entertain being there? This is a very spicy fight um, because we our movement is so compromised. The good stuff, good stuff. Sack of sacks coming through in the clutch by offering absolutely nothing. These are the kind of rooms that will determine this run. You know, we don't have a lot of HP, obviously. If you get hit on this room, you've proven you don't deserve it, in my opinion. Now, this room is a, it's impossible. <laughs> I think telepathy is still going to be better for us. Oh, uh, yikes. Oh, those aren't really HP, though. <laughs> For the love of God, stop doing the same thing on every single room. Just place some bombs. You can get away with a lot if you just place some bombs. Just any form of HP. Like... Okay. Stay cool here. We have enough bombs. We don't need to shoot anymore. At least for this. We might need to against Blue Baby, but for now, this is a very important room for us to just stay on top of everything. And then a bomb here. Oh my god. And a bomb here. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, and then a bomb. There's already been an explosion there. There has not been an explosion here, nor here. And there has not been an explosion maybe here. Oh, let it... He's, he's got to get it all, though. He's got to get it all. And then you get this one. Get these track in. Let's go. I think we just did it. Spider. HP. 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 You legend! <laughs> okay, I told you! I don't lose on quarantine, baby! So we're really just gonna ruin this guy's life. Beautiful. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!